All right, let's uh, talk about our weather coming up here. And I know that uh, Aaron and both Lisa were all talking about the cold coming our way. And the question is, Aaron, how cold are we talking about? I mean, it's the end of January, right? We need warmth to come in. Yeah, well, it's going to take through the weekend to get there. And Lisa's going to touch on that cold air, but it is going to be bitter cold. We were cooler than average today, right around 46 unofficially. And normally we sit at 49 degrees. So we were close as we roll through. But again, we are looking at temperatures out there just hanging hanging in the mid 40s and we're seeing winds out of the north at seven miles an hour as we look at Lumen Field. All quiet. It's quiet out there as far as activity on the Doppler radar. We're just seeing mostly cloudy skies and that's the way it's going to be. We've had high pressure in play and that's kept the jet stream well up to the north of us and blocked any storms coming in our way. We are going to start to break that down as we get into later tomorrow night. So right now currently we're seeing those temperatures hang in the low to mid 40s up through the north sound through areas in Arlington, Bellingham, Ferndale, 45 for Seattle, 45 for Olympia, and 45 for Shelton is the magic number tonight. So let's talk about as we get to early Friday, we're going to start to see some rain come back in and we'll get some winds out of the west southwest. And we'll get gusty at times, especially in the south sound and a little bit up to the north sound. It's not super long lived, but this is our commute time, 5.30 a.m. on Friday. We're seeing some winds up to just about 30 miles an hour in the south sound. So here's a look at tomorrow, a little low line fog developing as we push through. And then we start to see that rain late tomorrow night into to our Friday, we get some mountain snow. Snow levels finally start to come down, and then we clear that out, and we'll get into the weekend where we start to get really cold. How much snow will we get? Well, a good dusting as those levels start to fall from 6,500 feet tonight through just about Friday, uh, 3,000 feet. And overnight temperatures sit really comfortable tonight, Lisa. 38 degrees tomorrow, slightly cooler, and even Friday's near average. And we're seeing mostly cloudy skies, but we're not seeing what's ahead with the temperature trend. It is going to be cold. Yes. It's definitely going to be cold, so that's where I want to start off here, Erin. So she was talking about the temperatures being mild for the next couple of days, mid upper 40s here Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. Saturday is when we get ready for big, big changes. In fact, those afternoon highs are going to now plunge into the mid and upper 30s by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week, eventually returning into the 40s, but not until uh, uh, Thursday, excuse me. So high pressure, we've been talking about this over the last couple of days, hanging out, allowing for this dry weather, but then we're going to get ready for those showers like Aaron explained on Friday, and then this cold Arctic air mass. At the surface, it is going to be a strong cold front that pushes through, which will also kick up those wind speeds. Aaron kind of talked about Friday. Well, Saturday, those winds now shift out of the south. Now they're going to be out of the north. So we're going to get this Fraser flow, especially for those up across the north side. I mean, we're talking about the potential of gusts exceeding 35 to 40 miles an hour, very windy, and that's going to usher in all that cold air for western Washington, which means those afternoon highs are going to be in the mid upper 30s. Overnight lows are now going to fall into the 20s. We are going to feel this when we wake up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday morning, heading back to work. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Big changes with a nice big swing in place. Tonight, 38 degrees. Tomorrow, 44. Mainly cloudy. Aaron talked about that fog we're going to wake up to once again tomorrow morning, but then we could get say goodbye to that fog as we finally start to see the atmosphere churning a little bit, getting more of those showers. They will return again on Saturday as the temperatures plunge, and that is a look what we can expect.